are distracted. They're mm -hmm. distracted by noise. They're distracted by current events. Dude, anytime stuff happens on social media, let's say it was COVID, then it was the Ukraine, then it was Johnny Depp, then it was Kanye. In people's minds, they don't, they're not even thinking about COVID anymore, yeah. bro. They're not even thinking about Johnny Depp. They're on to the next motherfucker. They're being like programmed 24 seven and they're being pushed back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And this idea that Google is literally gonna hand you a bullet point list of truth is the simple. most ridiculous and and stupid assessment that you can make. How do you rewire your brain? How does that first step start? I think the first step is in becoming humble and realizing that you don't know shit, mm. Facts. right? Because yeah. when you're humble and you sit down and you're like, the, why, is so, why are all these people so far ahead th than I am in my same age bracket and why am I stuck? And it yeah. has to do with, first of all, understanding that you don't know anything. Like yeah. you truly don't know anything. So you come with a student's mentality. Yeah. I see people, you know, and I see it not just with myself, but with other influencers. I see it when people comment on YouTube, their first reaction is to, is to uh, shit on people or is to uh, hey. be like, oh, this was lucky. Well, what if it wasn't lucky? Mm -hmm. What if you're wrong with that comment? Yeah. What if that person was prepared? And it's this idea that so many times in life, you look at a situation and you try to view it through your lens. But maybe the solution is that you have to educate yourself in a way that other people don't educate themselves. And I said this, uh, I say this often is, do you think that the kings or the monarchs or the emperors got, got the same education that the peasants got? Mm -hmm. Do you think that they ate the same food that the peasants ate? Do you think they hung out in the same circles that the peasants hung out? No, they didn't. So the first step is understanding that the education that you're being fed right, is gonna lead you to an end result. So you have to ask yourself, who's feeding me this information and what is their intent? Mm. The second thing is who's feeding me food and what is their intent? And the third one is what circles am I being placed in or am I putting myself in and what is the intent of the people around me? Mm. Because if you can understand the intent of why people are doing what they're doing to you or to themselves or to the environment, you can determine whether you want that for your life or not. Mm. That's the first part. The second step is you need to look at the data. If, if there's an issue with diabetes, for example, in America being one of the leading causes of death, the question has to be, well, why, why is that taking place, right? If there's so many people addicted to porn, you need to ask yourself, well, why is that the case? If, there, if people are getting smashed all day, uh, getting drunk all day, being high all day, you have to ask yourself, well, what's the source? What's the reason? What are they thinking and what is being fed to them? And you want to stay away from that. Mm -hmm. Food-wise, mental-wise, and then the people around you. Dude, you know it just as much as I do. The, most people are like, oh, you know what, bro? I have shitty friends, but they're still my friends, you know? Yeah. Dude, you have to live with yourself for the rest of your life. You have to live with yourself for the rest of your life. You don't have to live with your girl for the rest of your life. You're not going to live with your boys for the rest of your life. So the decisions that you make, you have to be accountable to yourself in the fucking mirror every single day. Because when you're on your deathbed, you can't be out here blaming nobody. It's just you. It's your decisions. And what I realized is that the foundation to everything, success, wealth, everything is health. Why? Because I can have, let's say, my parents. People talk about family. But if I don't have my, my health, I can't enjoy my family. But I could do without my family and still have everything else. Mm. But if I don't have my health as a base, can't do anything. it's useless. I could have all the money in the world. But if I don't have my, my base set and in, in, in established, then I lose. I could have a phenomenal relationship with my, my girl, right? But if I don't have health as a foundation, there's nothing to build on. And it's this idea that if you're dead or if you're not operating, like Nate said, Nate said your, your, your CPU is not operating at its full capacity, you're losing. And people need to focus on that. And I say, as I've said it before, it's this idea that when I, t I, I go and ask these billionaires for advice in Puerto Rico, or I sit down with people worth hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars, people that have sold companies, ask them, dude, give me some advice. Focus on your health. Focus on your health. Yeah. Well, what about money? Shut the fuck up. Focus on health. Yeah. And then you start realizing that the needs and the wants that the, the common people have or the people that are un, 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 uneducated is not the same wants and needs that people that have already made it have. So you ask yourself, maybe I just avoid all the bullshit and I go straight to the end goal by surrounding myself with winners, taking the advice of winners, which is focus on your health, focus on your development, focus on yourself, and then the rest will come. What do you think, Dane? 
what I think is the first thing that you're talking about is you said kings had different education. What is education? It's information. It's just they choose what information to give you, Mm -hmm. and then they give other people other information. But I want to challenge something you said. You said that we lack information. Yeah. I highly disagree. I think we have an oversaturation of information, especially since we're Mm hyper-connected with this internet, bro. Like, this has only been around a couple of years, G. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we as humans are trying to adapt to what this world has brought us to in 2022. Yeah. So the issue is there is good information and there's a lot of erroneous information. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people out there with 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 their either agendas or opinions, but basically everybody has a voice. So when you have a voice, you have information. So you have to learn how to, like Luke said, what's their intention? Who's saying it? Dude, I I know so many people, so many people that just leak fake information on the Internet Mm -hmm. and other people credible people like news outlets sign on it pick it up we'll literally pick up the stories yeah. dude. pick it up without even verifying mm-hmm. and that's what happens 24 7 so even this idea we were talking about what were we talking about oh we were talking about i was talking with jonathan we were talking about like nikola tesla mm-hmm. and i was like what do you know about nikola tesla and he's like well i heard and i was like oh information i was like i was like well you don't know anything yeah. because you heard yeah. right instead of be instead of being like well based on my research and based off of my education. And this idea that Google is literally gonna hand you a bullet point list of truth. You have some guy the there mo- SEO being like, okay, is the, is the, most, first with is the most ridiculous and and stupid assessment that you can make. Oh, well, if it's it's not in a .gov website, then it must not be true, yeah. right? So this idea that truth is in a singular point or in a singular location is not real. Truth is all over the place. And truth is a compilation of data sets and information that you're going to acquire by spending time intentionally searching for it. And the problem is people are distracted. They're Mm. distracted by noise. They're distracted by uh, current events. Dude, anytime stuff happens on social media, first, let's say it was COVID. Then it was the Ukraine. Then it was Johnny Depp. Then it was Kanye. In people's minds, they don't, they're not even thinking about COVID anymore, yeah. bro. They're not even thinking about Johnny Depp. Yeah. They're on to the next motherfucker. They're, they're being like programmed 24 seven and they're being pushed back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Why? Because the most important, most powerful currency in the world is not even attention. It's energy. It's energy. And it's what are you giving your energy to? Are you giving it to some motherfucker out there? Right? Are you focusing that energy on developing yourself? So, so many people are distracted with garbage, distracted with noise, distracted with poor relationships. And then they look at their life and they're like, what's wrong? You're what's wrong. People want uphill results with downhill habits.